In this video I'm going to show you how to install the uh, Church Info uh, web-based uh, church uh, membership database program on a uh, commercial server such as um, GoDaddy or 101 and one um, or iPower. Uh, first I want to show off the fact that if you Google free church database, um, skip over the commercial offerings, um, Church Info Project uh, has been um, has been high on the on the search results for Google almost from the beginning. I started this project in 2004, and uh, lots of people link to it, and um, that makes it easy to find. This is our homepage. Um, let me scoot over so you can see. The uh, if I click the download link, it'll take me to SourceForge, uh, which is the the host for uh, our open source project. And we can download Church Info 1.2.12.zip. This uh, version is almost two years old. We're working on a new one, um, but this is what we have released now. Once it comes down, I'm going to open it and then extract all the files. Open it, uh, extract all files. And it's going to um, extract them all into my uh, onto my local computer here. The uh, there's a there's a lot of files, but there's really only one directory. Um, you'll see the um, the top level directory um, it, that that will be copied up to the server is just called Church Info, um, and then. We'll be using FileZilla FTP client to uh, to copy it up. Um, so now it's now it's uh, unpacked and here it is locally on my computer. Now we're going to uh, log into the iPower uh, server and have a look around. Um, all the uh, commercial servers have different um, different little. Um, Works that we need to uh, we need to figure out in order to be able to make it work. Um, nothing too terribly difficult, but you know, as you'll see in a second, there's a few things I need to look up. So when I log in, I'll use my uh, I'll use my um, username and password, which will be actually deleted by the time you see this video. Um, I I got this account just to sh just to do this video. So I'll log in and take a look at their control panel. Their control panel is fairly typical um, for uh, commercial servers. There's literally hundreds of companies that, um, that provide uh, commercial uh, web space uh, services. Uh, so, and a lot of the control panels look very similar. Um, what, the first thing I need to look at here is uh, the FTP uh, link. Um, because I need to figure out exactly how I connect to them and upload my files. Um, so here it says to access your account using an FTP client, you need to connect to ftp.churchinfodemo.org. So I'm going to copy that, and then I will um, start FileZilla. So here's FileZilla. FileZilla is a fabulous program, um, free, open source, very effective. Um, so in the top, I uh, paste in my um, my host name uh, that I got from the uh, uh, from the FTP page on my uh, server. Um, for username and password, I, I can log in using the same username and password that I use for the control panel. That's not always the case, but that's frequently the case. Um, it's also possible to make FTP users um, using the control panel, um, but I'm just going to do this the easy way. And I'll connect, and on the right side of FileZilla here is the um, is my server uh, file space. Um, this pub public HTML directory is where uh, things will be visible on the internet. Uh, and on the left, I have where I unpacked my um, my church info directory. So under church info 1.2.12, there's a church info directory under there, and everything underneath there we want to be up on the server. So I'm just going to drag that whole directory 
over to the public HTML uh, folder on my server. You can see it created the church info directory and now it's furiously copying all of the uh, files uh, that are going into that directory. You can see the activity down below. So that's going to run for a few minutes. Well, those uh, files are still copying. I'm going to take a, a look at my control panel and start working on the uh, MySQL database. So here back on the control panel, I'll go back to the top level of the control panel and see if I can find how they do MySQL. Again, there's, there's variations uh, from server to server, but there, there, there's a lot of things in common. Uh, here you can see they give us this managing databases page and uh, I have an option to add a database which is what we want to do. Um, I'm going to call this um, database uh, info demo search info demo and for password I guess I'll make that um, not very easy. Not very easy. Let's see if I type that correctly. Okay, so I have a database now, and I'm going to. Oh, that's my FTP going again. Um, so in my database, I, I need to go to uh, PHP my admin, and you can see we have a database with nothing in it yet. Uh, we're going to import the um, the SQL configuration file. Um, so in my directory on my local. Um, computer where I unpacked the church info, uh, I'm going to find the SQL directory and pick this install.sql file. Uh, that's the file which has the, um, the SQL script that will initialize the database. Um, so now, let's get this over so you can actually see it. They made this, um, they made this control panel difficult for me to fit into a reasonable size video. Um, everything seems to be getting huge, but um, you can almost see the, uh, the go button down there. Uh, oh, I had it for a second. Alright, I think you saw it. I'm going to press the go button. And uh, now we have all of the tables have been created. Uh, down the left, you can see lots of tables. Um, so now we have a database, um, and we have um, we've populated it with the uh, with the tables. Now I'm going to close. Actually, I'll just drag this out of the way, um, and we can see that the uh, the filezilla is done, which is good. Uh, so all of our files are up there. Um, the next thing we need to do is edit the uh, config uh, config.php file. So I'll, I'll go I'll go work on that next. So I'll go back to the uh, back to my control panel. Um, you can see they started um, PHP my admin in a different tab. Um, but back on my control panel, uh, if I go to the top, I can go to the top level again. And this time we'll be looking for a way uh, to access the files that we just uploaded. Um, so I can see this file manager link, so I'll click on that. And now we can see what this looks like from the server's point of view. So, um, so there's this uh, public HTML uh, directory. Under public HTML is this church info directory that we just created by uploading it. And under church info, there will be a, um, a directory called include, which is where we need to go next. So I'm going to select that directory. And then on the right hand side, there's a file config.php. This is a file that has uh, the settings uh, for the database connection um, and also the settings, the setting of the, um, 
of your your root path, uh, which hopefully we won't have to change because uh, we we use the directory church info, which is the default value. Um, let me scoot this over so you can see. They um, on this iPower control panel, I I have the file here, and they give me this little pencil, um, which lets me edit it. So here I'm editing the file, and the main thing we're we're looking for is the um, is the database uh, configuration, which is right up here near the top. Um, so for user, uh, user will be um, church info demo. We changed it. We didn't use the default um, username. Church info demo uh, password. Um, not very easy is what I gave for a password, so let me type that in here. Not very easy. And the database again is church info demo. So now I will I will um, now I will save. Uh, you probably won't be able to see that. Um, anyway, there's a save button that's a little bit below what you can see. So when I press save, it'll save the edits that I just made. Um, so now I've updated uh, config.php. Uh,